Hey guys, so in today's video I have a haul of stuff to show you from Attitude Holland. This video isn't sponsored, but I did get these items for free because as some of you know, I do work with Attitude Holland. I've made a couple videos for them in the past for their channel, and I've been modeling for them for over a year now. So on top of getting paid for those projects, uh, they give me a like a quarterly budget for e-credits on their website. Essentially every quarter they send me a gift card for their website to pick out some stuff um, just to have. In the spring I picked out a pair of boots that I really love that I've been wearing a ton. But for this round of stuff I don't have shoes but I do have a lot of different items. So I'm just gonna start grabbing things and we can get into it. Okay so the very first thing on top is a top that I've actually been eyeing for a really long time. And so this is just what it looks like. Doesn't look like a lot right here, but it's from the brand Gecko, and it is, I think it's a one size item. But it's a wrap top, like a wrap crop top with a hood. So it's a pretty simple design, but I absolutely love it because it's so versatile. But what I love is that the ties of it can just be done in a variety of different ways. So you can totally change up the look of the top just by changing how you tie it to yourself. So if you want more straps, you can do more straps. You can do less straps if you want less straps. Yeah, I just super love it. And it has a hood. And the hood is very large as well because it's, you know, the whole thing is kind of the hood. I don't know. I just, I really like it. <laughs> um, I'm kind of bummed that it's like getting colder out so I'm not really going to be able to wear it that much. But I can still wear it to like parties and stuff. And whatever. And so I think this might unfortunately be a one size item, as in there's only one size available, um, but there is a lot of freedom in the sizing of it because it's completely adjustable. So yeah, I'm glad that I finally picked this one up. Um, don't know why I didn't do it sooner. And the price on this one is $26.99. Oh, and by the way, all the prices that I'm going to say are going to be in euros. And a reminder, I didn't pay for any of these items. I'm just telling you the cost because it's relevant when you're doing a haul video. So the next thing out of the bag is another gecko item. Um, and it is a pair of pants. Oh my god, there's a whole ass pocket. Wow, I just, <laughs> I've tried on these pants twice and I didn't notice that there is a pocket in the front of it and so I didn't show it when I when I actually wore it on camera that you'll see in a second, but okay, so this is the front, you can't really tell. There's a flap here and the zipper hides under here and is a pocket and the whole pocket is the whole entire front section of the waistband. Cool. How did I miss that? It's like a very lightweight zipper, I guess. Very quiet zipper. Um, cool, that's awesome. That's a plus to this pants that I didn't know. But anyway, about these pants, I've been eyeing them for a little bit. And so these pants are, you know, they have like the dropped crotch, baggy legs. It's like a kind of thin, I think it's cotton, and it uh, cinches down at the ankles. There is a lace-up detail on the side, which helps with adjusting the size. There's a zipper on the other side, which helps for getting in and out of the pants. <laughs> um, then there's the flap in the middle, which I before didn't understand, but now I know it hides the zipper pocket very well. <laughs> um, so that's funny. I got these in a size medium, and the retail price for these was $29.99. Unfortunately though, so far they're very comfortable, but I haven't figured out what shoes to wear with them, which feels like a really dumb problem. So my only thing is I don't really know how to style these yet, so they're kind of just at home pants right now. If you have any recommendations on what types of shoes to wear with pants like these, please comment down below. <laughs> um, I would love to know. Um, I'm used to just full baggy pants, um, and I, for whatever reason, the shape of these pants are just different enough that it kind of threw me off. Um, but I'm excited to try to work this into my wardrobe. We'll see. Also, something cool about Gecko, um, I think they're a London, well, yeah, they're a London-based, um, whatchamacallit, brand, label, designer, whatever. But I just read on the tag that I'm hopefully gonna be able to read to you. That each item is ethically made by small family businesses using a mixture of new and upcycled fabrics and materials. Please accept any variations as an indication of this item's handmade quality. Super cool. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, that's dope. So shout out to Gecko for 
being handmade, small business, ethical practices, all that fun stuff. I'm really happy with the item so far. I love with the top. That might be my favorite item out of this haul. The pants, I'm figuring out, but I do like them. <laughs> Next out of the bag is a pair of shorts. Um, I grabbed these because I actually did model in them. So I wore these during this shoot and I really liked them. This happens every once in a while where I'll wear something to model and like it so much that I then go home and order it on the website. Uh, it actually took me a couple weeks to actually order these, but I don't know. I just really like them. They're from the brand Band Alternative and they are size medium. I really like the feel of the like denim material. It's like nice and stretchy, it's comfortable, and I really like the details as well with the corset lacing on the sides and a pentagram on the back pockets. A little bit on the simple side, but there's nothing wrong with that. We all need some basics in our closets and I definitely was running out of shorts that fit me. I've kind of gained a tiny bit of weight lately and even these felt a little small when I put them on so that's cool <laughs> um, but fortunately it's colder out now which means that I can work on fitting back into a size medium I don't know <laughs> um, anyway it is colder out so unfortunately not gonna get a ton of use out of these over the winter I don't think but never say never. <laughs> um, yeah, and these retailed for $29.99 as well. And so then the very last clothing item that I got is a dress, shirt dress, shirt dress. This is a shirt dress from Heartless. So this is just a black and white plaid shirt dress with kind of like a black section up top spikes around the perimeter of the, the black section, buttons all the way down, a belt that you can adjust and tie, and the sleeves that roll up and then attach with a strap. It also has two front pockets, which is nice, but I wish that they were not front pockets, I wish that they were hand pockets. <laughs> the flannel material um, isn't like flannel, it's not thick, it's kind of thin, but it is very comfortable. However, the black upper part is a little bit more stiff than I would like. Um, so I'm hoping that as I wear and wash it, it gets a little bit more soft or just a little bit more worn. Other than that, I'm really happy with this one. I'm not actually that much of a dress person, but if you remember in my Cherry Bomb lookbook, um, I had a, a red plaid like dress thing that I don't really wear as a dress often. Um, it wasn't sold as a dress, but I got that from Attitude Holland and I love it so much. So when I saw this one on the website, I was like, that's for me. So I got it, which is a size small and it retails for $44.99. And this, this and the shorts actually might be off the website because I think they're like the last ones left in their sizes. So sorry about that if so. When it comes to shopping, I'm not a good YouTuber. I usually buy stuff that's like on sale, that's like the last one left, the one that's not coming back, the stuff that's like not brand new definitely gonna be on the website for a long time after the video comes out. A lot of times I'll get stuff and it's already sold out before I even sit down to film the video, so... Uh, sorry, that's kind of my bad, but at the same time... There's no same time, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, back to this dress. Um, yeah, so I mostly got this actually just to wear around the house. <laughs> um, I only wear dresses around the house or in photo shoots so this got added to my my like comfy clothes around the house yeah but it's also nice because then if I need to like go to the store or do anything then I'm kind of already dressed and I can just leave so hmm. I'm working on trying to get more presentable even if I'm just working inside my house <laughs> I have a really bad habit of just wearing pajamas 24 7 so part of why I got that dress is to enhance my at-home wardrobe, if you know what I mean. So that is it for the clothing section of this haul video, um, and so now we're just gonna dive into what else is in this bag. Um, I'm seeing, actually, something that I haven't opened yet, haven't used it yet, because I haven't used the makeup that would go with it. Okay, so this is uh, the mermaid brush. Mermaid Salon, the original chubby mermaid brush. So, Cool, I got, wow, this case is so cute. What is this, how does this work? What? Oh my God, look at this, this is so cute. Okay, so this is the mermaid brush 
chubby brush, whatever, whatever the card said. <laughs> this retails for $14.99 on the sites, and I got this actually because when I um, shot with Action Holland the first time, Mara Saikara used this brush on me to put highlighter on, and I really liked it. So that was over a year ago, um, but I finally, I was thinking about it lately, I was like, I don't know what brush to use when I put highlighter on, or also my contour, I don't know, so it's supposed to be like a contour brush as well, right? Carbon contour, at least that's what like the little name says on the packing slip. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I haven't used it yet, but I wanted to have a nice, solid highlighter slash contour brush in my collection because the ones that I do have, I don't trust them to, to work well that much. So yeah, looking forward to using this, haven't yet, moving on. Okay, so the next item is sticking with the mermaid theme, which is a little bit not on purpose, but I got a whole ass eyeshadow palette. Who am I? I don't know. <laughs> but this is the Mermaid Tears palette from VE Cosmetics and this retails for $33.99, but there is a lot of colors in here. I think that might be cheap for how many things are in here. Oh no, it, it broke it a little bit. Okay, um, just, uh, just move back in there. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So there's a lot, that's like a lot of colors, right? I feel like that's a lot of colors. <laughs> I guess I kind of broke this middle one here. Sorry, shade that I probably will never use, honestly. But I wanted to get this because I have been getting into makeup lately, and I really do not have any type of colorful eyeshadow. A lot of the stuff that I did have before was kind of just like smoky eye palettes, and so I wanted to do some stuff with colors. And I've tested out, I tested out doing just a normal smoky eye with this palette already, which worked out really well. I liked it. Should I swatch things for this video? I'm like not a beauty YouTuber, so like I feel like that's... Okay, I will swatch some stuff. So here are some of the colors. I'm not going to do all of them because that's a lot, but here are some. <laughs> so yeah, so that is the Mermaid Tears palette from BE Cosmetics. Next up is actually a, another eyeshadow palette, which I think is unfortunately no longer being sold. It's my bad. But anyway, this is the Black Magic palette from Baby Bat Beauty. I think it's so cute. I think it's so cute. Part of the reason why I got this is the packaging totally hook line and sinkered me but this palette looks like this so when i saw this being sold for 16.99 with all of those colors in this photo i was really like that's awesome but after testing it out i do really like the black shade but these um shimmer color shades here are basically just black and i didn't know that and I don't know if it's just me being ignorant about this swatch photo if I should have known from it I think they used flash I don't know and when I looked it up on other websites that are selling the palette they called them metallic blackened purple or like metallic blackened blue and so while those shades are really pretty I thought it was more of a colorful palette based off of the photos, like the swatch photos. I am still going to use it, of course, like they, they are very pretty, but in order to get any type of color payoff, you have to like build a ton off of it and it's more subtle and it's kind of like in one light, it looks this way. I mean, it is called the Black Magic Palette, so I don't know. It does make sense. Like it does make sense. And so I think it's just me. I thought it was going to be way more colorful. Um, and especially in the pan, like, this looks like green, blue, and purple, but here, I'll try to... So yeah, these are pretty. They're just way more black than I thought, but I'm just getting into makeup. I'm not an expert, you know, but yeah, packaging is awesome. This little guy says cute and creepy, which is great, um, and the shadows themselves do seem nice, I think. Um, who knows? <laughs> but I guess comment down below and let me know what you think those shadows would have looked like based off of the swatch photo. Um, just because I'm curious to know if that was actually my bad or if it was just they used like full flash photos for their swatch photos as opposed to like just in this lighting. I don't know. I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> I don't think you can even buy it anymore anyway, so it's over. <laughs> No worries. But I did get another item from Baby Bat Beauty, which is a matte liquid lip in the shade Raven. And this is super cute. Um, and this actually retails, I think, for the same price as the palette. 
Yes, $16.99. But the lipstick tube itself is super, super cute with bats on it. You know, it is baby bat beauty, so a lot of bat going on. But I wore this for a day of modeling. I really liked it. I'll throw it on for you because I can do that. Okay, so please ignore the fact that I overlined my lips very dramatically. <laughs> also, I took my ponytail down because it was bothering me, and I feel like it matches the black lip. <laughs> but this is the lipstick, matte liquid lipstick. This is kind of like one and a half coats, I think. I, I just like dip back in the whole time I'm doing it. I don't know. But yeah, I've worn this a couple times and I really like it. It smells amazing. Um, it smells like maybe like a vanilla. I think it's vanilla. I feel like the way I did my lips makes me look mad. <laughs> so I still have a few items to go, but we're almost done. Uh, next up is two eyeshadows, two eyeshadow singles from Stargazer, but I actually fell victim to quality product photography, I guess you could say. Sakara did these photos for these shadows and I loved them so much that I decided that I would buy the shadows, except for not buy, I would use my e-credits for them. You know what I mean. So this red shade is like a shimmer, shimmer shade, and the black shade is just a matte black, so that's cool. But together they look really nice, and on their own they look really nice as you can see in Saikara's photos. <laughs> These each retail for $4.99, which I think is affordable. I think that's a really good deal, especially with like how big this is. But I really like these shadows. I've actually worn these shadows for an eye look twice. Um, the first being I went out at a party and I wore them. I actually did a uh, tutorial on the look that I did on this. It's on my Patreon. But I really like the look that I've been able to do with these. I also wore a similar look eyeshadow look for a modeling day with Attitude when I also wore the Baby Bad Beauty lip. And so last but not least, I have two pairs of lenses that I got. The first one I actually already took out of its... Thing, and I've worn a few times actually. I wore these lenses the night I did my makeup look in my Patreon video. I also wore these lenses um, the day that I wore everything else at Attitude that day for modeling. <laughs> I really like these lenses a lot. They are called the Corruption Lens. They're a mini sclera. They're 17 millimeters. These ones retail for $32.99 because they are the mini sclera. They're bigger and the ones that I got these to last for a year. Oh yeah, they're from Mesmerize. The second pair of lenses that I got is also, oh gosh, mesmerized. And these are my favorite lenses, the spiral ones. If you were around last year, then you maybe remember me wearing the black and white spiral lenses. Um, I did a whole video on them, and I also wore them in my Castlefest outfit that you can see on my channel. As you can see, I haven't busted them out yet. I'm kind of saving them. I don't like to open lenses until I'm actually going to use them because then they last longer. These are also for a year, but these ones were $19.99. So yeah, I basically just re-rebought um, the spiral lenses. The ones that I wore previously on my channel were not from Mesmerize, um, but I wanted to replace them with these ones. <laughs> They're essentially the same. And so with that, we are done with our attitude haul. Awesome. All this stuff I am really excited for. This is stuff that I'm actually going to use in my life. I bought these things not to make a video about them. I bought them to just use. And so a huge thank you goes to Attitude for letting me be a member of their team and work with them on such cool things throughout the year and also for, as a part of that, giving me e-credits. And while Attitude Holland is based in the Netherlands, they do ship worldwide. So if you happen to want to buy from them, you can. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're in a place that maybe has high customs, if you're outside of the EU, um, or if you're somewhere that has a place that you can buy from cheaper or just with less shipping costs. You can buy from them if you live in the US, but shipping might not make it worth it. So just be smart about it. So yeah, that's it. I think my favorite item is probably in between... I think I've used... oh gosh, I don't know. Now I don't know. I love the gecko top. I love my new lenses, for sure. I really do like the liquid lip, and I super love the stargazer shadows. The Mermaid Tears palette I also love just because I finally have colorful eyeshadow. And the Baby Bat Black Magic palette I do really like, it just isn't what I was expecting. The rest of the clothing items Definitely excited to keep wearing around the house. Maybe gonna wear outside the house. Who knows? <laughs> Is there anything here that you like? Do we share any similar 
tastes or interests, comment down below. And before we go, I'd like to give an extra special shout out to my Phoenix patron, Ben. He's been a patron for a while, but he recently moved up to Phoenix tier. And so a shout out to Ben for doing so. It's awesome to have you around and thank you for your support. And if anybody else would like to find out more about my Patreon, I have it linked in the description along with all of my other social media links and the items in this video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> um, this collar is from Attitude Holland. <laughs> this is a Bullet 69 collar. I actually got it last December-ish. Um, I got a bunch of Bullet 69 stuff because I helped pick stuff out for the website for what they were gonna stock. And then me and Saikara modeled all of it. Um, yeah, so a little bonus. Bonus item at the end for you guys, uh, this collar.